You're listening to episode 774 of the Father Bills Podcast. Welcome back. This week's episode is entitled, The Light of Christ, given on the Solemnity of Epiphany 2021. Today we heard about the Magi who followed a star rising in the sky. As an amateur astronomer, I'm kind of going, what star? What kind of star would that be? Well, we will never know since none of us were there, so let's just put that one to the rest. However, we can, based on the data from scriptures, eliminate a few things, like what it was not. It was not a comet, or a meteor, or an actual star as we know it. For the description in the scriptural texts about this event do not match the data that we have from physics about how these objects occur. Most biblical scholars today seem to agree that it was some kind of conjunction akin to what happened in this last month. Remember Jupiter and Saturn? Or a movement of the planets amidst the constellations. Those are both possibilities. There's a third one. Lastly, it could have simply been a miraculous light that moved with the Magi along their path until they arrived in Bethlehem. In reflecting more on this star, I was reminded about the myriads of ships that have traversed the seas using the stars as their guide to get to their final destinations and how they carried not just cargo, but something much more precious, people. They took people to places that were completely new to them. What happened to the Magi, I'd like to propose, is still ongoing today. People today are still searching for the Christ child, whether they know it or not. They are searching for love, happiness, freedom, and the truth. Love that is secure and unconditional. Happiness amidst the troubles and darkness of our times. Freedom from our addictions and dead-end choices that keep us shackled and oppressed. And truth amidst the lies and deceptions of our culture and the evil one. Each of us know well our own struggles and sins. And we know who it is that can bring us true joy and freedom from those sins? And the answer, of course, is Jesus. It is he who can guide us in the right direction, just like the star directed the Magi. Indeed, these wise men serve as models of trust that the journey of faith, while fraught with difficulties, finds its ultimate destiny fulfilled in Jesus. The church reminds us today that Christ is the light of the world that pierces the darkness of sin and can illumine our hearts and minds. Boy, we surely need that today. We are not to keep this a secret, however. This is not Gnosticism where if you know the secret, you got the way. No, Jesus wants us to know, everybody to know what's going on. That means we as Christians are to share it to help others on their pilgrim way. As we begin this new year of 2021, let us recommit ourselves. Let us be light in a world that struggles in the darkness. Let us live our faith which can fill our deepest desires. Let us share the joy, the gospel, and the freedom Christ brings. It is the good news our world needs. The news of joy and not despair. Truth, not lies. Love, not indifference. Honesty, not conspiracy. Unity, not divisiveness. 
Life, not death. Mercy, not vengeance. Faith, not disbelief. May the Eucharist, Christ himself, the light of the world, encourage us to participate in this important mission. It is, after all, what the church is. The church doesn't have a job. It is mission. It is what Christ commissioned us to do as Christians. And so may may we make an offering to the world, not an offering of gold, frankincense, or myrrh, but rather ourselves and the person of Jesus Christ, who is the light of the world. Thank you again for listening to this episode of the Father Bills Podcast. I invite you, if you have any questions or comments, just to go to my website. There's lots of stuff there. Uh, I have a blog. I have other podcasts uh, besides the Father Bill Podcast, uh, one about the Holy Land, etc. Uh, one about liturgy. Uh, that one's a good one, too. Um, at least I enjoy doing it. I haven't posted anything there for a while. Uh, not a lot of liturgical changes or things need to be brought forward. But anyhow, you can check that out. Under the blog, the most recent blog a posting is about the COVID virus vaccine. And if you are curious whether you should get the vaccine, of course, you always should go see your doctor. They will tell you what's best for you in your particular situation. But as Catholics, we're also, excuse me, as Catholics, we're also asking the question, is that moral? And so uh, the church does permit the COVID vaccine, the COVID-19 vaccines as they are at this time, uh, because of the seriousness of the pandemic. But uh, that's just the simplistic answer for you. I would encourage you to go to the blog there and check out the uh, article that um, I mostly quote the U.S. bishops and the Vatican, uh, the CDF, the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith, which that's pretty, that's kind of like the big gun. Uh, The article I've written is called The Church Permits COVID-19 Vaccines. There you go. So it's pretty simple. I encourage you to go there to check that out. If you have any questions, and feel free to uh, further your questions. Uh, if that doesn't help, uh, you can go to my website and email me right from the website. Additionally, there's, of course, the Facebook account and uh, Twitter and a little bit of the Instagram. Don't do much there, but um, you can check out what little photos I've done of recent. In the meantime, may God bless you and have a great week. Bye-bye.